Now that we have some basic understanding of what is sentiment analysis, let's look at the different approaches in which we can uh, attain sentiment analysis. So we will look at different sentiment analysis algorithms. So it can be categorized into uh, mainly three categories. One is rule-based, where you uh, put some handcrafted rules and the system performs sentiment anal analysis based on whatever rules uh, has been defined manually. Then the next approach is automatic that rely mainly on machine learning techniques to learn from data. So here rules are important, here data is important. And in hybrid, uh, we combine the best of both of these approaches to achieve even better results. So let's look at these uh, uh, approaches in some uh, detail. So first approach, rule-based, here we define a set of rules and uh, these rules are uh, used to identify subjectivity, polarity or subject of an opinion. The rules may use a variety of inputs such as uh, classical NLP techniques for stemming. Stemming means uh, if you have like go, going, gone, these all words will be stemmed to represent the word go then tokenization, parts of a speech tagging, parsing. So these are also different techniques and these are fed as inputs and other resources such as lexicons or uh, the list of words or expressions. So in order to understand uh, some uh, typical rule-based approach, let's look at an example. A very simple uh, approach could be that you define two lists. One is for positive sentiments and the other one is for negative sentiments and in positive sentiment you uh, positive list you add different words which denote positive sentiments like good best great nice beautiful and so on so you create your exhaustive list of uh, positive sentiments Similarly, in negative, you can have bad, worst, poor, and so on. So, once you have your list, uh, when you are given a sentence, let's say uh, the movie was very nice, I couldn't have expected a better movie so let's say this is a small review so here you see one nice is there so positive count becomes one then better it can be stemmed or limitized to good so we have another positive sentiment and uh, here the, let's say there is no negative word so you see that positive count is 2, negative count is 0. So you can simply uh, define a rule that if positive count is more than negative count, then it's a positive uh, sentiment. This review is positive. Uh, but uh, this is very naive uh, way. And uh, you, you will see that it can easily be uh, manipulated to change the meaning, even if the word is nice. Let's say you write not nice. And uh, then uh, I expected a better movie. So you see that uh, it starts to fail. So you will start to modify your rule. So you will uh, start considering negation of word. Like if not occurs, then instead of positive, take it negative and so on. So you will start adding rules. So you add some rule, you add more rules. And soon you will find that this system becomes very complex and it's very difficult to scale for new rules. New rules will occur. Maybe your old rule does not hold uh, true. So you may need to modify that also. And uh, so the drawback is that hard to scale. And initially it may look simple, but very quickly with uh, addition of few rules, it starts to become complex. So let's look at uh, other approach, which is autom automatic approaches. So here, uh, no handcrafted rules, but instead it relies on machine learning techniques, which in turn relies on real data. 
and this is mainly modeled as a classification tasks so in machine learning uh, we have classification and regression tasks regression means predicting a real valued output whereas classifications means uh, predicting some output would be some class class 1 class 2 class 3 and so on in this case let's say uh, simple would be two classes positive and negative you may have three classes where you have neutral you can have more classes like very positive very negative pathetic and so on so uh, it's model as a classification task and this classification algorithm can itself be different like uh, one can be naive base classifier then you can have uh, let's say SVM you can have also other classifiers like deep learning based classifiers so in naive base you will uh, predict uh, what is the probability of let's say positive sentiment given a text, text so this kind of prediction using the Bayes theorem in SVM you map uh, the different examples different reviews or uh, different texts to different points in a multi-dimensional space and uh, in this approach it will be assumed that all the texts belonging to one sentiment map to some fixed region in this multi-dimensional space and uh, the sentences text belonging to other sentiments map to some different region and when you are given a new data let's say the new data maps to this region you will see that this maps to positive sentiment region so you will classify it as positive sentiment uh, but all of these uh, non machine learning based uh, classifiers take into account uh, individual words or maybe characters but let's say it's words and not the sequence in which they occur is not taken care by these so we use deep learning based techniques in particular we will use uh, rnn recurrent neural network units called lstms which are good in capturing long term dependencies long range dependencies that is what occurred word 1 word 2 word 3 word 4 so a text may have multiple words so it will not just consider this word but also the sequence in which this occur this is important and this lstm will capture this long term dependency like what words have already occurred or even there can be extension of this that by lstm by directional lstm that is uh, words in the neighborhood of current word that is being um, analyzed left side as well as right side so these kind of uh, techniques will use the consider the sequence of words because these are very important in uh, analyzing the sentiments and uh, we will uh, study about the typical workflow of a uh, automatic approach in the next video or uh, what's the typical workflow now let's uh, look at the last approach which is hybrid approach so here we combine the best of both the words as the name suggests we uh, combine uh, the rule based as well as automatic approach uh, so this is mainly used to achieve uh, some last level of accuracy and precision let's say using simple deep learning based on the data your uh, learning algorithm has achieved 85 percent accuracy now uh, you add some rules some hand engineering some expertise to improve it further to let's say 89% or 90% so these are uh, rules are used to achieve some additional accuracy and precision so these were the main approaches for uh, uh, doing sentiment analysis we will further continue uh, in on this automatic approach and how to do it using LSTMs in Keras